Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be discussing how to get 4,000 damage on Apex Legends. So what I'm going to do, and we haven't yet to do this in a hot while, is we're going to review one of my gameplays where I got 15 kills, 4,000 damage, but we're going to have a lot of educational commentary, break down tips and tricks, talk about what worked, what didn't, and also why every bit of damage you do is very, very important. So we're going to be littering this video with tons of tips and tricks and things that I could have even done better. So we're going to leave the comms in while we play as well, I never get and guns? then I'll back up. So I've been playing with my friend Fireborn quite a bit offline, so you've probably seen him a bit in the video content. I'm trying to get him back into Apex. Cracker. And we've been playing together. We've been uh, just duo queuing and playing, and guns killer. that's been just kind of the goal. I'm watch for you. So the biggest thing that we see here, I keep hearing doors open, but I don't know which one, where she, and you're gonna hear me talk. And that's okay, I kind of want to leave the comments in, because you'll notice how, and I'm pausing for just one second, that one of the biggest things, you'll see my cursor now on screen, is you always want to drop where you believe guns are. They're gonna be here, here in these open areas. At least I have a Mozambique. That's one of the most important things. And then afterwards, after you assess that nobody's nearby, you can start hitting the bins. Whenever I'm talking in game, I'll be sure not to talk. Another bunch of little tips as well, whenever you're dropping, hot dropping is gonna be key or dropping near the action get guns? to get as many kills and damage in as possible. If you land too safe, you're not gonna get enough damage in, I'm gonna be honest yeah. with you guys. Because these lobbies do get eliminated really, really after. quick. Down. Be very fast Should on looting. Trying to watch for you. Thanks. I keep hearing doors open, but I don't know which one where she's at. Playing as a team is important. Remember the most obvious thing that everyone says, and we'll pause here, because what's going to happen is always watch for your teammates and always play as a team. You never want to get dropped. If you get dropped, that means you're not doing as much damage. If you're not doing as much damage, then you're going to end up falling behind and not get your 4,000 damage. Because notice in the comms, you never hear me at any one moment say, don't kill them, let me get more damage in. It's always just playing organically. There's a few things I do here. This was, this wasn't bad. Good job. So drop armor for your armor teammates. For her. Another tip: keep your teammates alive, no matter how good, how bad. It doesn't matter because you are gonna need them always later to help you in a fight. Now you'll notice one thing I did here: I swapped to white and I swapped back. The reason I do this is because I'm okay. waiting to see if we're gonna get thirded. If we got thirded, I didn't want to be caught out, and I decided, you know what? Nobody's nearby. I'm gonna risk it, not and I'm gonna heal up. Not Mozambique. Please. So anything, the havoc was actually pretty solid Mozambique. here. I feel like I heard a squeaking in the background. Was it a cat? <laughs> in this recording. <laughs> but you notice that we, you know, find your ideal gross. loadout. Even if it's not here, find what works for you. So I say gross because there's not an ideal loadout that I would prefer. But listen, the EVA 8 and Havoc isn't bad if you want to do work and want to push. This is more than enough to mop up a squad. If we sat there and said, you know what, I want to go loot, then we would have missed out on this opportunity. I promise you, then this round would not have ended up being 4,000 damage. So notice how every decision making, whether good or bad can end up being detrimental to your 4,000 damage or positive tor towards it. So being there first is really key. So I kept moving up. Kept looking for something? head glitch here. I noticed that they're in it, right? I'm just going for it. Now I say I'm going for it. I'm going to pause here again. Now the reason why I'm, I noticed that I'm safe to move up is based on the audio. I know this game is notorious for bad audio and everyone memes about it and everything. But the thing is that you're still able to decipher where they're at based on some audio. So because of this, I'm able to get some pretty good shots in. This leads to one knock. Because I know they're knocked and I believe it's only one more, I decide to shove it. Really nice flick there. That was pretty pretty good. And now I'm just scanning for where the other person there. is. Behind. She was pretty good. She died, but she's still pretty good. Now, also keeping in mind how much HP you have whenever you're going aggro, because, I mean, I could have gotten knocked there. We had a pretty decent head glitch. It wasn't There's half bad. There's a lot of people around, because I'm still hearing shots everywhere. Yeah. And we decided to go back and engage. Keep in mind that you'll you'll notice later there's going to be more tips. So as we keep covering, what are the things that we've already realized here? Be fast on the engagement. Drop hot or near the action. Phoenix. Don't be afraid to fight. Don't be afraid to fight with what you have, even if you feel like you have low resources, because you can always get the resources off the opponents. And then boom, look how many resources we have instead of going to a different POI. This is a really great example to making sure that you're at least working towards your goal. I always say don't back up from your goal, work towards the goal. So whenever I give tips, whenever we're coaching and everyone's probably watching this content who has been coached or hasn't, the goal is to always work your way towards the fight or towards the intended goal. Ooh, if you start backing ooh. up and moving away, then you might not be working towards your intended goal. So now we're looking for more opportunities mm -hmm. to fight. Now there's rules. It's okay to shoot out in the open if you know they're not looking at you, but you need to take cover immediately and notice how I work my way in towards the fight. Okay, so just to repeat here, they were very, very fast on the res. Very, very quick. 
but I guess that does count for more damage. Because if if they didn't, then I might not have got my 4K. Remember the rules of engagement. If you crack their armor, you can shove, and you can disrespect with some different positioning. They're outside. Cracked him. Let's cover this. This is really important as well. I'm selling right now. Notice that I'm being very selective when I heal to do damage as well. Got Might have honestly just been able to re re reload the havoc here. I need to heal. I'm trying to slow heal. I hit one on the roof for about 100. And I wanted to be safe. If I can just get the full, I can actually do something. To let, let me go back to this point right here. I haven't healed the full. Right here. But I decide to repeak it. And the only reason why on the Gibraltar is because if I look. Above. Oh, they're outside. I notice that they're focused on my teammates, and they're not, fo and he's not focused on me. And because of this, I'm pausing here specifically, because I know I can do the damage and help. Uh, Gibraltar, yeah. Another team, the second floor. I'm selling right now. Even if you're not in the fight, you can be so helpful to your teammates by Got doing that. range damage. I should not have been shooting the EVA at this distance. I said that earlier, but I, hit one on the roof I realized that I backed up and I'm healing. If I can just get the full, I can Let's actually do something. Outside, yep, so you're on your own on that. One dropping down on you, I think. Cracked him. Hit him for 122, one floor above. Now, once you've done the damage, you can bit. hold aggressively. Let's let's talk about this. Because there are rules that you start breaking whenever I tell people you need to always hold a head glitch, you always need to hold an angle. Well, because I've done so much damage, I, I'm kind of encouraging them to repeak me. I want them to repeak me in this engagement. And because of that, I'm really holding this angle to ensure that, hey, go for it. I want you to. And sometimes you can get punished for it, yes. But when you have such a, an advantage, like in this scenario, and they're hiding here, they had white armor, and I have my teammate nearby, two, one, four, I don't mind peeking it and going for it. Moving up a little bit. But again, you scale the fight, you keep working it. your way in. I realize that I should not have peeked, peeked there. Got him. Got the knock. I didn't get the one above you, but I got one of them. Unfortunately, I have no batteries. Coming up. Let's take, let's take, let's could keep watching. Can't front oh, I got him, nice. Now let's backtrack here. Always think outside yep. the box in terms of positioning. Even when we're up in the air, there's always a better head glitch and better place to play. Yes, I could have gone through the door right here, but using this window, I get just as much information and I can continue working my way into the fight and, and ensure that I stop the res. These are things when you start to think outside the box that, box that really work. And even as you're watching this, there might be other solutions that you say, hey, this could have been done better. And that's the beauty of looking at stuff hindsight 2020. Your goal is like when you're watching somebody play chess, that you're able to make a quick informed decision very, very quickly. And it's really hard to make the best decision whenever you only have seconds and sometimes in, in advanced scenarios you only have microseconds but in this scenario managed to ca catch one of them out Hit for oh, I got him. Nice. and it was a solid play one of your best friends to ensure that you're minimizing downtime is going to be batteries i know that one seems a bit obvious but I, I really have to hit that point where if you have the opportunity to get batteries to get yourself back into a fight Getting cracked from red and trying to sell all the way back up can be absolutely brutal so the more sell the batteries that you have I mean the better, especially if you plan on getting in constant engagements and you plan to be in just the thick of it consistently. So, Let's segue with the action. One of the biggest things that we're going to highlight here is what happens whenever you pretty much, you see me flying up here, go towards the action and you don't know where the action is. And even if you don't have a scan legend, if you notice that you've been third party after third party after third party on the south side of the map, look how where the other side of the map okay, is. Game, thanks. There, we cleared the whole bottom half of the map. We're going to have to go over here. <laughs> Yeah, if we look, let's look at this. Let's look at this. There's a lot of good information here. We're going to slow it down. So here we are. When we look at this, what's interesting to see is that now, let's say we just held here, how long it would take. Because there's only seven squads remaining. We have eight kills. And realize that this doesn't seem initially like it could be a 4,000 damage game, but it also depends on the skill level of the remaining teams and how difficult they hold and how much they all honestly reset. The interesting part from what you see here is if you do make the mistake and you don't push or you have to kind of feel it out. Like if you don't have a scan legend, realize, hey, we didn't get thirded or there's nobody nearby. Let's start rotating the other side of the map to get back into the action. If you decide to play passive, if we played passive in any way, shape or form, this game was so close to being not a 4000 damage game that it could have honestly ended up being a uh, not one. And that's kind of the point of this you guide here. video. <laughs> We literally cleared the whole bottom half of this. There is nobody from the lower side of the equator. Great All right, so we're going to keep moving forward, and we're going to get into the action here. Most like all white armor. Now, as we rotate, we knew that the team was going to rotate here. This team is actually pretty solid at holding <laughs> angles, and they only had white armor, and they gave us a hard time. Let's take a look. All white armors. 
I could have shoved the one on the left, but I've already used my tactical, which is why I should have waited on the tactical, but it did get me in the position that it did. I'm white peeking out, and I shouldn't be doing that, but I do see oh, they no, all have whites. Running. So I'm playing very... What's the word I'm looking for? I guess you could say I would aggro, dominant, because I know that we have the health advantage. Which isn't oh, a bad man. thing to do when you know you have that advantage. There we go. Very, very nice. Batting. I'm going to shove the guy in the left. I'm going to go for this Lober. Come here, Lober. That's my nickname for Lober, for Loba. Uh, this is a bad push. This is so dumb. Oh God, I'm dead. One now, flush. we're going to come we're back and we're going to look at this. They're going to mop this up and clean it up. Okay. And they do it. Now let's back up and talk about why this is the dumb. This, this is what I, I started using positioning, and I do this. This is my biggest flaw as a player. I'm gonna is shove the guy in the lot. I need a, a person to sometimes tell me to slow it down because whenever I start building momentum, I don't know when to stop. And when I'm really feeling it, because I'm having a blast. I'm like, it's like having a really good time, not knowing. Okay, uh, it's time to, to end the party. That's kind of where I end up in, in apex. So okay. in this scenario, I'm still peeking out and batting in the open. That's the mistake number one. I over peek. I'm over dominant in positioning when they could have easily knocked me because I, I, I see they all have white armors. It's a level of disrespect. There is a health discrepancy. Here, but right here, I could have held this angle and head glitched here, but I made the track. mistake and I know they're crossing and I hear that they're crossing and I decided to go for it because I know the Havoc does a lot of damage, oh. but... Uh. I missed my shots. I whiffed. I said, I mean, I whiffed the last part of the spray. Even if I got it, I still would have been eliminated, which is what you don't want to do. Honestly, I could have waited for them to cross because I hear that they're crossing. My teammates give me information, and I still go for this. And this is just an, a non win win scenario. Even if this only person only hit me for 100, I would be expected to snap onto the other target and then still win. And it's just not going to happen. The right around the corner, you got that. Nice, one more. Right here. Nice. I knew they would clean it up, but listen, if you're trying to get 4,000 damage, the last thing you want to do is. Okay. It is get get knocked. So you use positioning, you use head glitches, you use different positioning. You you don't heal out in the open. Okay. So there's another Dang. team here. I don't hear them, and I, I we other end side, up. Side, the wall. I think they're yeah. I think what ended up happening here is the other side. Here. But we do rotate here, so we're gonna skip ahead. Once we rotate, we go through the choke point because you want to get involved and get engaged with this nice. fight. Grab one too. Let's go. So we rotate. Let's skip ahead to the future. Probably more appropriate. So now we're in the future here, skipping a little bit further ahead. I'm confused. Where did I, I could have sworn I saw somebody here. Remember I mentioned it. Let's take a look. Do I even see anybody here? My, my mind playing tricks on me. They were here. Appropriate. Or maybe just they were here. Saw here. I could have sworn oh, no, I saw bad. something, but I think I was looking at the door and my so mind's were, my mind was playing tricks on me. It was True. pretty late at night when we were playing. After a long work day. So let's skip ahead. The Watson is very confident, so I start moving with the Watson. Remember how we say match your teammate's level of aggression? You follow the Watson. The downside is if we had a passive teammate, we would have she to leave have the teammate to encourage him to move. She's uh, she's fa she found tracks. I joke that the Watson's a bloodhound here. She's bloodhounding. Yep. She's she, she just moving like very confidently, and I'm like, maybe she's got tracks. Time's up and we're not in the ring. All right, that's information. Every little bit of damage because we're so short. Even this spray here, even though it wasn't great, this damage technically added up to 4K. Don't be afraid to take shots and whenever you're claiming such space. Remember, the downside of taking shots is that somebody could rotate behind us. Let's go this way. But from where we saw, where we've looked around, to come to us. there should not have been a third party. I normally don't leave comms in these videos, but I wanted to try Let's this. The balloon, yeah, the balloon over here. I'll pause. Some, you know, somebody's going to comment. Somebody's going to say, Daz, it's very confusing when I hear your own voice and then you hear your voice commentating. Well, I'm just, I'm trying something new. I want you guys to hear the comms because we're pretty nonchalant. We're just vibing. We're hanging out, man. Like, we're calming where teams are at and vibing, but we're not like, yeah, they're gonna beat us. you don't have to stress so hard. You can still have fun. You can still joke around and... I, I think that's what, what helps get, if you have a good foundation in terms of positioning, understanding, and you work on fundamentals, you can always have fun. Just remember your fundamentals. Some good damage here. Nice. Watch our right. 96 on one. Now, would it, now the reason why I say to watch the, the right and I'm looking is because when I know where we're all looking, until the, uh, I think the other... I can't, believe, I can't tell if it's fire. Our, our third who isn't talking is looking that way. But the reason I'm pausing for this moment is because it's always good to check your back. Always, always good. good. Right. No, it's not. Uh, it's zone three. I mean, we can survive a little bit. 
You'd be surprised zone how long you survive outside of zone. Though. Zone 4 is where you really have to watch out. And I, I said it in game, I'm going to say it here. That's when you really have to worry. This is why people get memed on for, well, essentially, sitting out, outside of zone. It's her face vantage right here. Oh, there she Ooh, goes. Got, who did I, I don't even know who I knocked here. Who did I even knock? Comment down below. I honestly don't even know. I, I don't think the vantage was that low. Maybe she was, because she, she did have a bit to traverse. I know this team over here might have been having some issues. Maybe. Maybe that's what it was. I have no idea anymore. We go to zone at this point. The reason why, no more flush shields. We decided to rotate because I don't want to die to zone, which could have happened. Now, the interesting part is we knew... Let's look at the number of teams before. We knew that there was two outside of zone. One of them got eliminated. And there's one more behind zone still. Look, look how much damage we still have. There's four squads. These last squads were just really, really sweating it out. I'll take, it. I'll take, more, take this anyway. Yeah, so let's take it because I don't have any flush. Flush shields mean meds, just um, in case people aren't aware. It's possible. I, I mean, listen, I, I, I we use okay. a lot of terminology uh, sometimes that people aren't aware. Right oh, I ca caught it in my eye right there. It's behind us. Standing low. Knocked one behind us. I'll let you guys focus that. I'll let you guys focus that. We're split here, but I at least come to my teammate that I know that they're going to focus that, and I decide to fight in the back. This Come does net one. me out a lot of damage. Now, what would have helped pad the stats more here is if I just finished the knocks. I can't remember if I did or not. I don't think I do. Nope, I don't. I just tried to hard gate this person, and then they start throwing stuff on the floor, which is pretty interesting. I honestly could have got more damage right uh, yeah, already knocked by just finishing them. Right here. That's another tip. When, when you go down target for 4,000 damage, yeah, finish your targets. This. this person pretty much gave up. I don't know why they just didn't let me have the kill. Why? Why? Just let me have it. Alright, sleep. She's gonna die to zone. I, I, like I said, there finish the down targets. I could have got myself another 200 damage at least. Just from finishing the down targets, but I didn't. She started throwing f items on the floor. I think it was just like begging. Please don't kill me. I was just hard holding the angle. Now, remember the zone is very, very brutal. And oh, I think God. Fireborn yeah. learned the uh, the downside of the zone here because the zone got him. Yeah, and it, it hurts. Not get out of that. Yeah. Zone 3 to zone 4 does not mess around. That's the zone that that's the one you really have to look for. But because we're duo squad now, this actually helped me get the 4,000 damage though, to be fair. Because we took it slower. Just because I got a crack, I couldn't shove. If Fire was here, we probably would have actually mopped this team. And I probably would have ended up maybe with 3,000 damage instead of 4,000 damage. But like I said, everything happens for a reason, yeah. right? Almost out of uh, energy. Now, the reason why this is so hard to push, I'll showcase it now. I'm going to pause my screen. Is that I can have a head glitch here, but as soon as I run out in the open, I could run out into three individuals looking at me, which are all like, if we look here, my cursor, there's one here, I know there's one on the other side of the wall, and so it's a really hard angle to push as a duo. You have to show a level of respect, especially for the end zones, especially if the team has made it this far, that they at least know what they're doing. But again, it helps, I guess you could say, pad the damage. It wasn't the intention. If I got a nasty crack, I would have pushed, can see and I tried. Through that gap and is not shooting. What? And then I notice this team right here immediately. See where a cursor is when I turn? This Watson can see those people through that gap and is not shooting. Watson, there's another team rotating on our right. So we decided to rotate. So once you rotate here, we're trying to take a different angle and I'm trying to bait them into making a mistake, which is right here. Uh, kind of. Did a little damage, but not enough. I don't have enough range to hold here anymore. So we keep moving, you keep rotating. My goal here is to help my team out. And cover for her. There you go, I even say it. Covering for your teammates. When I say watching your teammates and watching their angles, this is a good example of... Get obliterated. No, she's not now, because I helped her. Now they took some damage. Watson can move up for free. Watch one, for your teammates. Inside, I already cracked, or I hit two it helps pad your she damage for 4,000, and it helps your teammates. It's not a waste she's of bullets pushing. to help your teammate. It's a good tip. I only have one bullet in there. I don't know why I decided to pull out the Havoc there. That's very strange. Now, the interesting part about this is that we know there's only one more squad, and there's a squad underneath us. Right? Oh, I think it's the fences. That team rotates over, which makes it hard for us to move out in the open. Oh, I miss my up. shots. Missing shots isn't fun, but hey, you gotta miss shots to be able to land them. And don't be afraid to miss shots, because oh, that also can teach you. It can teach you. That's another oh, damn tips for 4K. No. We're gonna pick up from this spot right here. This spot right here, this was not necessarily a smart push, but because the team wasn't showcasing any presence, <laughs> this is funny, I was like, huh, Mirage. 
I'm looking for an angle to see if I can really poke on these guys down below. No, I'm just the team. Uh, uh, it's they or Watson's uh, fences I was hearing. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I remember he was saying he was hearing noises. So this was a very. You see how I'm cutting the angle, trying to isolate into a one v one constantly. I could be doing better on this. It could be a little sharper. It's not ideal, but it's definitely not bad because I'm isolating him out and getting some damage in. There's only 10 oh, seconds. Can't until... you wide swing me? <laughs> I like the sheer panic right there. I was not expecting the wide swing me out because I'm I, the Watts is holding my cross and I'm watching the, the Watson. This is actually a really good angle to hold and then we have to run. So we're going to skip ahead because the zone is brutal Careful, here and then we run. Close, get ready to move. Stop. Stop me. No means no. No means no. No means no. No means no. Ah. This could have been the end right there. Honestly, it was a little rough to decide to fight down below with the timer being so tight. It did put pressure on the team. It did leave us alone. I almost got dropped several times. It was a lot, very paper, risky, not smart. Now that they're fighting, nice. we go in on this. The whiff, there's a shot. There's a shot. There's another one. And I ran out of bullets, it's unfortunate. And we go forward. Right now, it's so tight on the 4,000 damage. Like, everything that happened within this journey, for better or for worse, pretty much gets us there. I'm not even focused on the 4,000 damage. I didn't realize I was even this close. GG's. The game already recognized that you had won before you even got the last bullets on the moment. You, you guys ever notice yeah, it this? It's super weird, isn't it? Like, the music starts yeah. playing, and it's like, ding, ding, ding. You're like, what? I haven't killed him yet. Yeah. The game knows. It already knows it's over predetermined we've already predicted you'd win this we've already ran all the analytics and data you'll die tonight too what nothing <laughs> <laughs> that was my little joke there for the see we're just kind of i didn't even realize i even dropped four thousand damage i wasn't even concerned about dropping four thousand damage so we're watching this video let's let's cover the key takeaways that we have here drop hot or near the action don't be afraid to run in with whatever whatever weapons that you have because if you don't then you're going to miss out on the action Killing knock targets is also going to be helpful. Watching for your teammates to do some damage as they cross can be very helpful. Don't be afraid to gate teams out. Don't be afraid to make plays, but make sure when you push that you're using cover, because if you don't, and if you get knocked, then you're wasting damage on yourself as well. Just because your teammates go down, that's okay. You can use them as cover as well, so you can do extra damage. You don't necessarily have to be right in the action to do all the damage that you're looking for. So, I mean, this wasn't a perfect round. There was a lot of mistakes still made here. And even if we kept VOD reviewing, we can you know, nitpick all day, every day on everybody's gameplay, but there's is enough to get you there to get to at least 4,000 damage. And so when people say, is it luck? Well, as often as they happen, I picked this round because it was so close to 4,000 damage. I, I think the most consistent thing I always do is 4,000 damage. I think 20 eliminations is much harder just because of how sometimes the lobbies and how skilled they are. They, they really drop opponents pretty quick. And if you're playing with your teammates, the goal is to be squad oriented, right? Sometimes to get 20 eliminations, you have to make decisions that aren't necessarily as smart, especially if you get knocked and you have to just go for it and then try to make a play. The downside, again, if you get knocked, then there it is. But I hope, I hope this video is educational. I hope it's helpful. I wanted to leave in the comms just to, just to show you guys that we're we're calming, we're, we're having fun, but it's not necessarily just a pure sweat fest. I mean, you know, we're running around, playing, having a good time, vibing. There's a foundation there. I mean, even before rounds, we're talking about movies, we're talking about stuff going on in the gaming scene. And then maybe this round, maybe we got a little bit more serious because we wanted to get some knocks and really wanted to play because this was almost the last round of the night and we were doing ranked, but then it bugs out. The reason we actually got in this round, it was actually an accident where I was trying to still do some coaching and ranked but then we were queuing and sometimes it reverts you back in the lobby you know not ranked I don't know why it does that somebody can comment down below why it does that I don't really understand it myself but hopefully there's a lot of tips in terms of positioning and when I broke the rule of positioning and when I didn't we covered that section right here uh, and yeah, I, I appreciate all you guys watching. I tried something a little different. Listen, if this video just flops, I guess it flops. And I, I wanted to try something new by leaving comms in because I always remove them and I, I feel like I don't need to because maybe you guys can benefit from just hearing my dumb reactions every once, once in a while. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all in the next video.